What is up, guys? My name is Shannon, aka Cosmic Things. So welcome back to the space. <laughs> uh, I'll let you get it started just because of. <laughs> I'm back with my husband, Matthew V. Haynes, aka the Clock Master. And today we are here for. The Predator. No, no, not the Predator. 1980s and 7 4. 84. 87. Seven. 87. 87. That's what it is. 87. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this, this one has been on my list for a minute now. <laughs> this one, this one's been on my list for years. Yeah, I, I, just, I always hear everyone talking it up, so I'm just everyone like, okay. always talks about Predator. Always. And I've always heard about Alien versus Predator. Yeah, we watch Alien. You watch yeah. Alien, yeah. On the channel, go check it out. Yeah. That was a while ago too. I was like two mm, almost ago? two years ago yeah. at this point. Yeah. Jeez. Right? Crazy, right? <laughs> But yeah, so um, and with uh, the new one coming out, the prequel, figured what better time to do it than yeah, now. Yeah, with Prey coming out, with Prey coming out. Yeah. Yeah, so, which you will be reacting to. Yes. So. So I'm excited. We saw, the trailer looked really good for that one. So I'm excited to see what this one's gonna be like, and get some some story and see what everyone's really talking about. This yeah, with this movie. And we 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 were like today years old when we found out Arnold Schwarzenegger was in this movie. Yeah. And uh, Carl Weathers. Yeah, I literally had no idea what this movie was about. I know there was a creepy alien thing that is it's a predator. Creepy alien thing is a predator. He has like locks for some reason. Yeah. I, uh, he has like drug locks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I, I think, know. We've seen him. I think it's pretty impossible to not have seen him. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. So, I also have my friend, so he's just gonna be chilling here. Remember. So, <laughs> this is distracting, it'll just be from here up. But, yeah. <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, I think we'll just get right into it unless you have anything else to add. Uh, join our new yes. Patreon, okay? I'm already forgetting about that. You're right. You see, we already said <laughs> we have a new Patreon, guys. Uh, for those who've seen this video, it's it's like we have our separate channels, but are we have just combined our Patreon uploads together into one new channel? Yeah. So that link is down below. If you're an existing Patreon of Cosmic Binks, you will still get uploads for August. Um, but going forward in September, it'll be all movie reactions and all TV show reactions that I do on my channel. Um, will be post and requests and maybe anime, maybe K drama stuff like that. All that stuff will be on the new Patreon exclusively. So um, yeah. you can join uh, the new Patreon right now. It's there. Yeah, it's called the Cosmic Clock. The Cosmic Clock. We just yeah. combined our nicknames together. <laughs> so but yeah, the link will be in the description yeah, for you guys. Predator will be there. Yes. So check it out. All of the past reactions, like it'll it'll all be there. Yes. But yeah. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into it. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, if you like what you see, comment down below what your favorite part of the movie was, and make sure to hit the notification bell if you want to get notified whenever I post. And if you want to see the full reaction, you can either check out my Patreon or our joint one. <laughs> Go check out the joint yeah, one. Check though. out the joint one. You're going to want to check it out. But uh, yeah, guys, let's just get right into it. This already is probably going to get like added to my list of favorites just because of the vibe. <laughs> I don't even know who directed this movie. I don't know. I wonder who that is. <laughs> <laughs> Just chilling. Right? What a decade, man. It's like, we gotta have everybody and everything. Every, right. like, main person and everything. Damn fool accused you of being the best. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. That's what this is from. <laughs> 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 Wait, that's what that's from! <laughs> I never knew that! That's so funny. I was wondering why this outfit looks so familiar. Anybody knows we were there. What do you mean, we? I'm going in with you, Dutch. Damn it, he's dying. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> Have to run some good vibe before you go savage right. mode. Everybody just look crazy. Right. Everybody just looks like insane. I feel like Rambo would be great, good part of this team. Oh, absolutely. We're like Carl Weathers, no. Dylan. Mm -hmm. He know a lot more than what he's letting on. 
Oh, yeah. About this entire situation. Yeah. Okay. Well, obviously something happened. Or too many of y'all can't go up. You're gonna weigh it down. That's fun. Yeah, that's why y'all weren't hearing back from them. Because yeah. there's no one to report back. Yeah. Oh. He definitely gotta know something. Yeah. No, he, he's not giving enough information, obviously. Yeah. He knows... He definitely knows more than yeah. he's willing to divulge. Definitely very suspicious of him. It's Carl Weathers, man. He always says <laughs> Look at grief. Did grief ever tell everybody anything? Not quite. Uh, I don't like this. <laughs> Is this movie considered horror? I think so. Oh! Oh, damn! Oh my god! Oh! Oh, wow! Oh my oh god! My god! That's insane! It's like letting the meat dry. Mm-hmm. It's like draining the meat. Oh, God. It's like trying to make like human jerky or something. Yeah. They were shooting in all directions. Hmm. Hmm. I can't believe that Jim Hopper walked in an ambush. I don't believe he did. He probably moved real fast. I can't find a single payback time. Bro, we did do got the whole... no noise. All right. Man, just pull out a whole minigun. Right. <laughs> Oh, dang. Yep, predator stalking its prey. Prey. I thought we were thinking they'll, they'll, they'll only come out at night. Mm hmm. Nah, this yeah. looks like a daytime vibe. It seems like it'll come out whenever it wants to come out. Yeah. I like they're laughing at him. Right? It could be birds. Who's not playing? Yo. He said you making too much noise. Hey, he been out the game for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> we are in the enemy territory. The fact that he sneaked up on him, though, shows how, like, you know, inactive he really has been, though. Yeah. At least in the field, because... Bro, the stealth, like the control <laughs> over his body. I mean, it's Arnold, but like, sheesh. That bear crawl. They wouldn't think that it would be anybody else. Yeah, you know, they went missing behind this territory. So who else would it be? All right. So that's another thing I got to get to. It's like mini binoculars. Mm. Oh, damn. This one he just snapped on it, snapped on a twig. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, they're so quiet. Yeah, they can't can't literally hear right them. there. Some Assassin's Creed stuff, man. Right? Making life hard. <laughs> Dang! Of course, it's Arnold. Yeah. <laughs> Just gonna casually lift a car. Yep. With an explosive in. Damn. There's my man with his minigun. Mm-hmm. He's been waiting for a chance yep, to use he waiting for a reason. He's been waiting for a reason to use this. There's just so much chaos happening. Right? Dang! Golly! Mm-hmm. Bro, 
God, he's not even. He's not even aiming at me. No. He's, been, he's not. I mean, he's not like looking down sights. He's just. He doesn't need to. He's just that good. Right. Oh. <laughs> Dang. That said, stick around. It's messed up. Right. Damn. Because you're a Mac, like, Mac figured all that, that stuff out real quick. Right. It's the reason this team is known for for being that, that team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Basically. Basically. What happened to you, Dylan? You're on your own. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. I mean, it was all, this is a, we knew something was, was, was going on. Like we knew, Yeah. we knew that there was some type of trick. He's really stalking, stalking. Mm -hmm. Waiting for his moment. Just, hey, yo, oh no. That's still a threat, my guy. Mm. The noises. Right. Mm -hmm. We're losing our map man first. Oh, come on. It makes sense. So I'm going, they're going to get stuck. Not know where to go. Yep. Does anybody you need to take out first is him. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, the scorpion. I'm drinking it while he's chewing the tobacco. Mm-hmm. What a bad combo. Right. God, I got probably just smell like smell like dirt. Probably just smell like nasty dirt. Yeah. This makes you want to see World Rambo do if you're part of this team. Right. This is like literally the team he would be on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Predator versus Rambo. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I haven't seen how he or whatever the predator can do. Yeah. I don't know how it works. He probably knows exactly what it is. Would he, though? I don't know. Because I feel like this is just like a very unknown thing. She's not learning how to pick her moments. No. Maybe you can camouflage itself. Mm hmm. Until it is. I guess it's nothing major. Get it? <laughs> yeah. Movie better not be like Alien and Jaws, where you don't see it until like the last like right. five minutes of the movie. <laughs> it might be like that. It's very well, much be like that. Oh. 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 So it can camouflage. Oh. Oh, shoot. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn. And it left her alone. Mm. Yeah, you're going to see something that you do not like. You're not going to see anything. Okay, so much here. I don't think she sounds insane if she says what really happened. The fact that this thing can camouflage is just... Yeah. R.I.P. in peace. <laughs> Seriously. How do you kill something you can't see? Right? You don't even know what you're looking for. Yeah. Oh, God. It had the time to do all that so fast. Yeah. That's gnarly. Oh. <laughs> right? Oh! Oh! What was that? Oh, shoot! Oh, my guy's next. Oh. You ain't doing nothing. Mm -mm. 
He ble it made it bleed though. Did it? You saw green stuff on the leaves? Uh. Might end up hitting your friend. Y'all watch, watch it. I would not be shooting this much of something that I couldn't even see. Yeah. I'm literally just wasting ammo. Yep. The wounds all fused, cauterized. Yep, that was no Mac. bullet. That was no bomb. It's insane. Yeah, look at that. Y'all not seeing yeah. that? Oh my god, that music sounded like it was from Limsa Liminsa for like <laughs> two seconds. Okay, are we actually gonna see it without the camo? Mm. Dang. The heck? Yo, now they're having a whole med kit with it. Right. There's a scorpion. And what is this? Like, where does it get all of this from? Well, he knows exactly what it is. I'm telling you, this might tie into this might tie into prey. Maybe because I I believe this guy's native. Nothing but a couple of guys running around out there. We gotta take him down. This might be like some legend that runs in his tribe or something. Right. Whatever it is out there. Kind of what I was thinking. And now it wants us. I could be wrong though. Oh damn. Mm. Okay, we're here. It's young people getting taken out tonight. Where's the girl? Oh, shit. Y'all just not doing a y'all not doing y'all job. Y'all supposed to be the best in the whole daggone right. thing. Right. Y'all just keep letting her slip. Keep slacking. Why didn't she try to get away? Look at her. She's not trying to face what's out there. A lizard? It's a bullshit side job. There's two not or three out there at the most. Fucking lizard. <laughs> not a lizard. What's your name? Anna. If, if it bleeds, we can kill it. Usually, yeah. Usually, yeah. I mean, if it bleeds, you can kill it. So, if it didn't bleed, then you got a problem. Yeah. It's just how is mm -hmm. the question. I feel like I need to watch the second one now just to see more of the Predator. <laughs> yeah, because you really don't see it. Yeah, it doesn't get an idea of, you know, I know it's bad. They say it's bad. Yeah. Guerrilla warfare right here. Bro. Right now? I don't know. Maybe it's like a calming thing. Because he's always shaving. Yeah. Unless he's the, like comes floating in like the Shannon Sharp meme. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, he's bleeding. Sheesh. Oh. Oh, dude. I think you're a little stressed. Yeah. Oh, someone's got to be bait. Right. If it doesn't think anyone's there, it won't come. Even though I can see. But... Careful. Well, he knows exactly where they were placed. I know, but you don't want to accidentally hit your own. You see, like that. Hey. Oh. Woo! It tried sneaking up on him. It tried sneaking up on him. Woo! Did they get it? Oh, it's shooting out. Oh! It got out. Of course it got out. Damn. You got hit by the whole the whole thing. Well, at least it was just that. And he didn't actually get killed by it. Yep. He, he's You're just dead. operating on blind rage. Yeah. You're a soldier. You should know better. Why are you taking off your gear? Like... Throw off the deep end right now. Mm 
Bro, that's all this thought it best not die, bro. <laughs> like, right. Come on now. I think Max dying. I still think that. One of them is dying. Arnold can gotta see this day, bro. <laughs> like, that's just what they're gonna have to end up doing. Hmm. Move. Move your arm. Don't lift your head up. Oh. Yep. Damn. That was freaking gnarly, dude. dude what the you heck? See red dots on you? You Oh, dude. Mm -mm. You had no choice. Mac is gone, bro. Ain't gonna be no return of the Mac right now, bro. Sorry. Dang. It's true. I was getting ready to see return of the Mac because he made it, but nope. Nah. Sorry, Mac. This is a game of who's faster at that point. Oh. Mm. Oh. Come on, man. Might just save your life. Oh, that's Ooh. not fair. That is not fair. Oh. That is not fair. Damn it. Yeah. Told you they're gonna take the two brothers out. <laughs> they always do. They survived longer than usual, but. Why do you gotta take the POCs out first, bruh? He knows exactly what this is. Mm -hmm. Maybe he knows how it operates. I knew that meant give me your arm. Mm. Oh. Oh my god, what are you doing? Why are we doing this? Man, I thought I was gonna see him fight or something. Right. And shaking. Oh. Oh. oh, no, he just came to finish. Why would they take her? Huh? So why would they take her? They said get to the chopper. Why would they take her? Right. They don't know who they don't know her. It's gonna be a 1v1 fist fight. I like how that, I like how that plasma bullet did a number on everybody, but on Arnold it was just like it's about to scratch. <laughs> Rabbit would have been like, you don't trap me, I trap you. I'm going to take your environment and make it my own. <laughs> hey, yo. Well, bro, you can't. Up. No. no. Time to rest. No more camo. Mm -hmm. It's not water resistant. No. He must be real desperate. Yeah. To break the camo. Can it not see it? No, he's, he's just kind of like blending it with the trees. Saw him now. I was saying, he can pick up heat signatures. Yeah, no, so. he can't. Maybe because he's cool, maybe because he has clay on it. Can it only sense heat signatures? Mm. Dang, what a really like sign to advance. Yeah. Hey, yo. You probably realize that. That like it's like heat. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, that is mean? a very useful tool. She's like, all this time, all I have to do is cover, cover ourselves in mud. Right, they could have avoided this whole thing. Better hope it doesn't start raining. <laughs> right? Watch well, it start raining. We are in a tropical environment. Yeah. It's gonna be fine, and it starts raining, and then... So, you see, I feel like this is what the other movies are for, to try to give you, like, a background mm -hmm. to where the heck these things came from. They're not human. But like, they're obviously some type of alien. Damn. Damn. Jeez. They can rip the skull out. That's insane. Like, what I don't know is if it's like for food, like. Yeah, what's what the is purpose? It is it just this for sport? Do they just hunt? Just to hunt? 
But like most people, when they, they, they eat the things they hunt, though. Yeah. I generally don't know where this movie's going. Well, it's almost done, so. No, I know. Obviously, it's going to be a 1v1. That's what it always leads up to. Oh, always. But you don't got to be all precise about the, about the clay. Just dip in, the, dip in some clay. Can it see your eyes, though? Dang, what a scream, though. Right? I hear that for miles. It's like, look, heat. I'd be upset if I set all of that up and then he just didn't come. Yeah, right? he just moved on to the next forest. Right. <laughs> you know, I, he just hit up the one around the corner. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> like, this port's is lame now. You know, the guy's actually trying to fight back. He was going to show up right behind him. Can't see him, though. Crazy. Mm hmm. It's literally right there. Well, his theory's correct. I'm sure he might be able to see movement, too. Maybe, but like it only senses heat, apparently. Yeah. I don't know how the full extent of it. I got you now. <laughs> that they should probably go, got you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Can't see. Now it's literally the opposite. Mm hmm He put on his camo. Mm hmm It's just shooting in its general direction. Yeah. <laughs> Ron, your equipment's getting messed up. You need to upgrade. Sure. There goes your tech. Yeah, it looks like it's only dependent on... on heat signatures, really. Yeah. At least for specific locations of prey. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. 1v1. Like, how many strength stuff can we have Arnold do? Yes. I mean, if you have him in your movie and you don't have him showing his strength at least 10 times, you're right. You do it. It'd be a complete waste. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Damn. Precision. Nice. That got all the weapons. Right. Don't be singing Lincoln Park now. You can't be saying I come so I tried so hard and come so far or whatever. <laughs> in the end, it don't even matter. Better matter in the end. All right, if he has to make it out of this, I just like give up hope for everybody. All right. Well, that chopper is long gone though. <laughs> Comes out from the corner. Look, man, it's misunderstanding. <laughs> uh oh, watch thine sixth. I can see the shape, the outline of him. Mm -hmm. Dang. Uh oh, that there's water. Yep. You called it. <laughs> you called it that he's gonna get wet in some of some sort. Hey, pal. Oh, uh, damn. No hard feelings, right? Damn, this is big. But, yeah. It looks so tiny. Yeah, right? Not tiny, but, like, short. Hmm. Huh. It's taking off its mask. Hmm. Why? Ugh. Ugh. God. Because he took the, the helmet helps it focus on a specific target. Mm -hmm. Everything is just red now. I see red. <laughs> Let me say. Mm. Ouch. Those going crazy on him. Right? Damn. Mm. What are you even going to do? 
He's like, so you are the alpha male. I will take you on. <laughs> mano e mano. <laughs> so you are the one they call the Terminator. You are the one they call the Terminator. <laughs> no weapons, Brad. It's supposed to be open hand. You look like the type to follow the rules, Matthew. Yeah, he's the... <laughs> I know, my God. I know it's not supposed to be funny, but... <laughs> Like, you really think I'm that stupid? That might be a trick. That might be a trick too. Yeah. A trick for a trick. Oi. Mm. Oi. What says you, motherfucker? <laughs> oh, that ain't it though. I don't know about all that. Yeah. It ain't gonna be that easy. He's like, he's like Vader. What? <laughs> Bro, why are you hesitating? Now you got him. That's it. You got him. You I would not press that. I put in a couple more blows. What the hell are you? Right. Yo, is he calling the man them? <laughs> hey, yo, hold up, wait a minute. We know he has man them. No, it's, it's self destruct. Oh, dang, it got he a probably, range. He probably has stuff set up all over oh, yeah. the, the area. It has a range. Woo! It's like a sonic thing. Right? I was surprised they took her though. Yeah. I mean, she can speak English, so probably explain it all to them. Yeah, she. I mean, if she could recount people by name, then. Yeah. I was with Major So and So, Sergeant So and So. Yeah, they didn't use their names enough for me to remember. because he's a terminator that's why not human it's not human yeah at least at least he's alive he can be like yeah she's with me yeah it's crazy bro man I lost the whole squad mm -hmm. and they're not gonna believe him if he go back anyway no they're not they're gonna think he's absolutely insane. There's no evidence too of such a being. Yeah. There's only two people saying what they saw. Craziness. And she only saw like the um the, the camo, camo yeah. So, man, throw back to when they used to do and uh to do uh see how this is the eighties, nineties like the cast thing and it yeah. turned around. You ready? <laughs> what? Yeah, no, I was just confirming. Because for the longest time, I always heard, or at least I assumed that Predator was a horror because of the comparison to, to Alien. Alien. Is it just so like an action? It's action sci fi. Action sci fi, yeah. Because yeah. I thought they were going to like bring some more horror elements into this, but it was it was straight action. No, you know what? I never even really looked at this movie as a horror, though. Well, I'm just saying, I just thought it was. You assumed it was a movie yeah. horror? Just because I've always heard it in talks with Alien. Even though the f found out later this Aliens is more like yeah. action than, you know. Well, Aliens, Aliens is definitely more sci-fi. Sci-fi action, maybe with a little bit of horror. Yeah. Right, let me see. Officially, Aliens is actually action sci-fi, as you said. Yeah. And Alien is technically the first one. The first one is sci-fi horror. Yeah. So. so that's why I kind of assumed, but so that's a little bit what I was going into expecting. But then once we started getting into it, I'm like, okay, this is not this is. Yeah, there's the first Alien versus Predator, which didn't do well on Rotten Tomatoes. At all. 
But like you're crossing over like Xenomorphs. <laughs> Sorry, look how I accidentally sp spelled it. The predator. The predator here. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Fat thumb problems. Right. The second, <laughs> the second Alien versus Predator got like um, got like a twelve percent Rotten Ooh. Tomatoes. That's not good. And it got like from critics and thirty percent from fans. Oh. Yeah, and the first one, the first one got twenty one from critics, thirty nine from fans. Oh no. Yeah, so I've heard mixed thoughts about the Alien yeah. versus Predator franchise. Some people love it, some people hate it. Yeah, some people like it for nostalgia, some people yeah. hate it. But, um... What did Predator get, out of curiosity? The first one's the highest. Oh, yeah, I know that. The first one got 80% 80, 80 from critics. Mm -hmm. uh, at 54 reviews, it's about to get 55 reviews. Mm -hmm. I'm going to also do them. And then 87 from fans. Okay. Out of nearly, you know, 300,000 mm -hmm. votes. The second one, however... I know we had talked about this already. It was like 30-something. Yeah, the second one was like 30%. Like, I want to see it just to see if we're going to see more of the Predators and whatnot. Mm -hmm. I also kind of just want to save it for Prey. I do, but I feel like I want to see more of... Because it got, like, a really bad score from fans and critics. Like, a lot of fans. Yeah. At least on Rotten Tomatoes. IMDb gave it a 6 out of 10. Mm -hmm. IMDb scores are a little bit more... Uh, forgiving? Forgiving. Mm -hmm. Than, you know... Rotten Tomatoes. Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah. And I, I, I mean... and I, Oh, sorry. I've just noticed that in general. Um... I don't know if it's, I don't, well, obviously it's not a deliberate thing, but like, it's just, I've just noticed comparison wise, IMDb seemed to always, like, for movies that just, are rated. Yeah. Not good? No, I just feel like there's more critics on Rotten Tomatoes, so there's a wider range of opinions. Yeah. I mean, I look at all the sources, you know what I mean? Because, yeah. like, you know, Metacritic, though, gave it like a 46. Yeah. And it's like, dang, right? But the users. The first one? The second one. The second one. The users gave it a 6.7 out of 10. It's not too bad. Rotten Tomatoes, you had over like 300, well, over 100,000 ratings, 44%, mm -hmm. 30% for a critic score. Google users, 90, 89% of Google users liked the movie. Okay, so that's a different statistic altogether. Yeah. Um. So, I mean, comparing all, oh, Danny Glover's in that movie. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. But comparing like all the scores, it's safe to say that maybe a handful of people like the sequels. Yeah. Overall, it's definitely not critically acclaimed though. Yeah. First one is just the most loved. And unfortunately, it's like that for a lot of the stuff. Yeah, that's how we. With the exception of Alien. Mm -hmm. We haven't seen the third one yet, and I feel like I don't want to. Yeah, I know. I'm. <laughs> It's been so long since we've seen Aliens that I'm like, I just want it to end there. Yeah, I don't know if I want to see the third, because, like, I know it gets, like, really crazy. Mm -hmm. And we'll get... I'm sorry, I, I'll bring it back to the We predator. always do this. We so always do this if you're new here. If you don't want to listen to this, just skip ahead a little bit. Yeah, but... yeah Alien 3... Because, you know, James Cameron is either one and done or two and done. Yeah. So he didn't do this one. So, this got, ironically, the same score from both fans and critics. Oh, was it? 46%. Mm. Yeah, not that great. So, I don't know if I, like, want to see it. Mm -hmm. I've seen pictures from it. I don't know if you want to see the picture I saw. I'm well, not worried. We can do that after. But, but it just made me be like, I have it here. It's made okay. me be like, I don't want to see this. Like, mm -hmm. I don't want to see. This is the famous one I've seen. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, uh, nah, I'm okay. <laughs> that one is more horror based than action. Mm. So I don't know. Anyways, yeah. yeah. But, um, no, what did you think about it in general, though? What thing about Predator? Yeah. I, I like the movie. I don't know if it will be on my list of favorite 80s action films to watch, though. Mm -hmm. 
Um, because I put like the first Terminator above this one. Oh yeah, definitely. Like leaps and bounds above it. Um, it's not a bad film. It's definitely a really interesting concept. Because you know, sci-fi was like, like the '80s was like the era for sci-fi, yeah, like sci-fi definitely. concepts, and you know, I, I obviously want to know more about the Predator lore. Like, I want to know more about where they're from, where they come from, some things like that. I don't know if Prey will go into that. It I don't might, know if they go into because... it in the other movies though. They might do. Yeah, because I'm just assuming like that um, that one guy like that we said he knew. Yeah, the Cherokee. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm assuming like it's like a legend. So but they've like, been coming down to Earth for a long time. Right. Because we saw the spaceship in the beginning, so we know they're aliens. But right. like, you know where they came from. Like even in Alien and Aliens and, and Second Aliens. We didn't dive into their origin until like Prometheus that was and Covenant. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm assuming with Prey we're gonna get more information. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, unless they dived into it in the other movies, which I'm not sure. I feel but... like they might have and I feel like they might have dived into the origins for the xenomorphs in aliens as well it's just that we haven't seen beyond that mm-hmm. it's like the origins of um like, like everything with the, the terminators and all that most likely went into more of it in the other movies of yeah. course which is like all these games we see is always based off of salvation mm-hmm. and based off of genesis yeah and stuff like that so even though we haven't seen those yeah so it's like i don't know so i'm kind of like it's a lot i liked about the movie the script wasn't anything crazy, like yeah, emotional I, moments. There wasn't anything like really crazy about it. Overall, like, I kind of didn't really care about the characters. Yeah, it was just kind of like There's, throwaway. Yeah, I'm just like, okay, it's Arnold and it's Carl Weathers. Like, yeah. cool. I mean, obviously, Carl Weathers, me being a Carl Weathers fan, I like his character. Mm-hmm. I mean, he kills it whenever, whatever movie he's in, whatever show he's in, he kills it. Like, he. He puts us all into his characters, and you can see the yeah. passion like coming off of his performances for years. Yeah. Like obviously with the Apollo Creed being like his more famous one. Now this I'm seeing this for the first time, and then the only other thing I remember distinctly seeing him in was uh, was in Mandalorian. Yeah. I don't remember seeing him in anything else besides uh, Rocky, the Rocky franchise, mm-hmm. and now this. So like from what I've seen from him in all those movies, he just puts his all, his passion, his like everything into the characters you know what i'm saying yeah, you can tell you can tell arnold's arnold i mean it's arnold you know i've seen different types of arnold movies you only seen like terminator yeah overall, you didn't see kindergarten cop right no i didn't yeah but overall i definitely would put terminator over this like in terms of my favorite arnold movie so far favorite arnold movie yeah for yeah. sure for sure like both of them over this one for me for sure like it's it was okay like i didn't love it but i didn't hate it yeah. i just expect i might have put my expectations too high yeah i think i think i might have a little bit as well i will recognize for the time that it came out it would have definitely been like it kept you on your seat mm-hmm. kept you on your toes the action was pretty yeah. i mean i wish there was more for the action yeah i feel like it was of it. lacking a little bit in that aspect yeah the first 40 minutes of the movie in my opinion was pretty slow yeah minus them attacking the gorilla camp mm-hmm. and it was like okay they attacked the gorilla camp whatnot then after that it was just like you know the predator just stalking his prey kind of vibe yeah so i mean the movie like you said rightfully said like in my opinion i kind of agree with this too i don't i don't hate the movie it's not my favorite as of right now i mean i'm probably at around a six for me. I'm not a seven because I like the score. I liked from the action that we did get. I did like that. Mm-hmm. Um, costume design on the Predator is amazing. I really liked, you know, his costume. Yeah. His whole thing going that on. Looked, I really liked it. Yeah, the whole thing looked great. Like yeah. it, it holds up. Yeah, yeah. As a whole, as as a whole, considering every all the other details in the film, including, you know, acting, you know, the location the score the costume design you know all of those those details mm-hmm. everything uh putting all of that in one even the sound design too because i really like liked how they did a lot of the sound design in this movie minus the mixing could have been you know whatever but like putting that all in all i'm at a seven and a half 7.5 if i were to rate each category i'd have different scores for each um like story 
I'm kind of at a like a five, six. Yeah, I feel like there wasn't a lot of story. It was just kind of. It's a very simple story. Yeah. Very straight to the point. A little too straight. To the point. Yeah, but I guess because you know I'm we're so used to watching other movies after that that have a similar formula because like even Rambo had a very similar formula, but I enjoyed Rambo a lot more though. Yeah. As a film. I yeah I agree. With I wanted to see more from Arnold's character, uh, Dutch. Mm-hmm. They hyped him up, but he. I wanted to see. I guess I just wanted to see a little bit more. I expected more from the movie, and that's just yeah. the thing. I mean, I would put the thing higher than this. Like, there's so many other movies that I would rather watch over this one. one as of right now, specifically around the same. Around this frame. time frame, yes, yeah. of course. Yeah, I'm not gonna, you know. I mean, but not even just that though. I mean, there's uh, there's so many movies in the '80s that I would watch over movies now. Mm-hmm. So I don't even really think well, the time even really matters I'm just saying, too much for me in comparison to. Yeah what you're like i said guys i don't hate the movie man like i i I feel like i would have i would have had to like really grown up watching this movie and watch it when i was a youth and like watch all the other predator movies to kind of really get into the franchise i still kind of i feel like i want to watch the others Mm -hmm. just because i feel like they might do cooler things the other thing is here's the thing they might do really cool actiony stuff with the movies but the story might be completely lackluster the direction might be completely horrible the acting might be so cheesy the story, the plot might just fall so flat at towards the end of the film, which is why critics and a lot of, and even some fans may not even like it, right? But then you go in certain communities that, like, that may hype up those movies. Mm-hmm. So, would I rate this, would I rate this next to Alien or Aliens? Alien and Aliens, they're not even a conversation with this movie. Yeah. So, it has to be rated on its own merits in a league of its own, in my opinion. So yeah, I'm still excited for Prey, because I still think yeah. Prey could be a really cool The movie. trailer for Prey looked awesome, yeah. and I'm all for I'm all for um, having more native representation on screen. Because mm-hmm. uh, we do see them in certain things, like certain games, we might see them, certain shows, we might see them like Reservoir Dogs and stuff like that. We might see... We might see them, and like we might see them, but it's not as highlighted as I would like it to be. Mm-hmm. So having it in like mainstream, you know, Hulu stuff like that, yeah, you know, take a different direction of it, I think would be really cool. So I want to see that tie in with the story because obviously, I keep forgetting the main character's name, uh, the the tracker, uh, the Cherokee guy. I keep forgetting his name. Yeah, his character's name. Uh, was it Billy? Was Something it? Like that. I can't remember his name. But anyway, he he obviously knows this thing, or at least heard rumors about it, because like he's yeah. rubbing his necklace and like he he has some history with this thing. Mm-hmm. So, or at least like I said, maybe might have been legends that was passed on in his tribe or something. So it's yeah. like it's very possible that you know there was just a lot of stuff for me that wasn't fully explained. That like, and then it's fine if something's not fully explained. But I feel like there was too much left out that made it kind of a little muddled yeah i feel i don't know i just feel like yeah i agree with that and i feel like pacing wise i guess it was just the anticipation of me wanting to see the predator it was like, i want to see this thing by the time it came here i was kind of already like drained out yeah a little bit um i don't know it's not like with alien i think what would have really made this movie hit different for me because like i said if i grew up watching this movie and like it played in the household yeah, or I grew up in this time, it would have been a how to had a whole different approach. Um, but I feel like for me, what would make this because Alien had a very even Jaws I enjoyed even more because with Jaw and and the main thing is characters, mm-hmm. the character building, the, you know the script for the characters. These characters are very like one tone in my opinion. Yeah, they're and not very one beat. There's not a whole lot of personality. Like there's yeah. not anything that makes them super special and stand out yeah and i would have felt more for the for the friend and what happened with their situation if they had highlighted them more like we've seen them interact on the helicopter we've seen them interact you know in in the woods and they were like oh man this is like some mean bush or whatever like yeah you know so we've seen that but like we didn't really get to feel their chemistry like that like as, as, like as bros i feel like the um not like a goose and like you know maverick thing yeah you know what i mean like when like the, when he lost when you lost goose it was like damn bro mm-hmm. that hurt my heart yeah you definitely. know no they they really lacked a bit with their character building and like their bonds i feel like they really lacked with that yeah i didn't care too much for the the cast really um 
minus you know Carl Weathers and Arnold, of course. But yeah. Like, like I was really trying to find something to like latch on. To. Yeah, but it was really difficult. I couldn't really find anything. I'm just like, all right, I'm just gonna stick to the two people I know because I know how they are as actors. Yeah, exactly. They're gonna put their all into their characters. Mm -hmm. So that's not to say the others didn't do a good job. I was yeah, really interested just... in the girl that they captured too, yeah. but I, I felt like they could have done a lot more with her and the story. Um, there's just things that I I personally wanted, and I mean like, if you look at um even uh like alien again back for comparison mm -hmm. alien did a thing where it's like you didn't really see the xenomorph until like the end of the film like mm -hmm. you might see like you know flashes glimpses. of the xenomorph glimpses mm -hmm. here and there but what they did was they really gave you a nice strong main lead in Sigourney weaver's character in ripley mm -hmm. and also not even just that like everybody else on on the ship on the uh on the uh on the nostromo thank you on the nostromo they all had very interesting storylines they all had very interesting uh personalities mm -hmm. and the black dude I keep forgetting about his name man um, um keep forgetting my man's name but like even him yeah. you know what i'm saying even like you know i gotta rewatch the movie and forget my character's names it's been a minute it's been a minute yeah, yeah. we started rewatching the director's cut but we, we didn't get a chance to finish it yeah um but yeah anyways like the point is we had good character development, and it's Ridley Scott. He knows how to do that. I mean, I don't know about you, but I would watch Blade Runner. <laughs> I don't know about you, because I know Blade Runner was a little slow for you. I'm not a huge but Blade Runner person. You didn't, you got to rewatch it. But, like, I guess that's just because I'm a Blade Runner fan. But let me take Blade Runner out of the conversation. Um, I don't know. Just because Alien and Predator was kind of, like, up in conversations a lot. Yeah. I feel like, uh, I feel like, um... I don't know. That's what they could have done better, in my opinion. At least to grab my attention, uh, show more of a bond with the cast. Mm -hmm. Show, you know, because they all kind of felt very distanced. Yeah, they just kind of felt like okay, these are just macho war veterans. Yeah, that's all I was that really are just getting. Here to kill some stuff. Right, just some <laughs> like dude bros. Dude bros. So. Chewing tobacco. Yeah. I, mean, I didn't really feel any connection for them. So when each one of them died, it was just like, well, okay. Okay, bye. But like on the Stromo, when each one of them was left, it was like, oh. Yeah, it's like, dang. Dang, that like that took something out of me. Yeah. So, <laughs> so even in Aliens, even with the army that they built up, they, we didn't get to see too much of them, but like we got to see their camaraderie. We got to see how they act, mm -hmm. act with each other. So when you lost them, it was like, oh. Yeah, they, they were kind of like... They kind of were like a-holes, and they didn't really like pay attention. But like, damn, they didn't deserve that. And that's the thing too. Even with um the one girl in Aliens, um, the uh, Michelle Rodriguez type. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like she developed, and then once you got to her death, that was like, oh, dang. Like, yeah, it was like, oh, that sucks. But like, that like, was not. He's mad at her, but like, damn. <laughs> yeah. But like, even with this, like these guys were kind of jerks. At least some of them, and there were that one dude was kind of annoying. They gave, so. they, they, yeah, they seemed like side, side bars. I mean, good. this group felt like if they were the inspiration for the Bad Batch. Yeah, simply because they were all had their own weird quirks mm -hmm. and like, like the keep saying I hate saying Cherokee guy. I don't remember his name. Um, I want to say his character's name. You want to say his character? I want to. I would like to remember his name. Because I did like his character, actually. I just wanted to see more of his character, too. Yeah, that's him right Yeah, it's Billy. Billy. Okay, yeah. so Billy. It was. Mm -hmm. So Billy, even with him, he's kind of like, he's kind of like Hunter. Mm hmm And Bad Batch, you know what yeah, I mean? I, I, so I can kind of see, I can maybe see, like, you know, them getting, like, it's inspiration for the Bad Batch, like, yeah. Commando, you know, Commando kind of like, you know, we, we do the dirty work kind of group. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, we'll do the things that, they, that, that nobody will... Yeah. want to talk about like you need us to get something done quick and easy off the records we got you mm -hmm. like <laughs> Definitely. so um yeah i mean that's kind of the long and short of it for me obviously i i just i like the score but camera work was, was good in my opinion action could have been a little better because when it comes to guns and action i'm not really a huge fan of like i don't know like marksmanship for action mm -hmm. i'm always impressed with hand to hand yeah, I get that. Uh, and, and stealth. Because in Rambo, there was a lot of guns. Yeah, there was. But 
what did it for me was his stealth and his maneuverability and being able to like his creativity, his creativity mm-hmm. and him just being able to like adjust to the situation rapidly. Yes. So even though there's a lot of guns, I'm not a huge fan of like just guns blazing because anybody could pull a trigger. That's how I see it. Now, obviously, there's layers to that, like as to how good your marksmanship is, you know, that's different. And like bow and arrows, I take that over guns any day because that to me, that requires even more skill than pulling a trigger. Anybody can pull a trigger and out of out of sixteen out of sixteen rounds, one of them might hit. It might. Once you're pointing in the general direction, it might hit. Yeah. Right? An arrow, not so much. Yeah. You can hurt yourself. Precision. It's more precision, it's skill, it's 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 muscle memory. It's I mean everything is muscle memory, but like you know what I mean. So even though it's technically an action film because it has guns in it and you're shooting at things, I don't know. For me, like the only way I can accept like guns and for an action sequence is like how James Gunn did it. Mm-hmm. Now, that's I, I have a different opinion when it comes to cowboy films, though, mm-hmm. because you know I, I always that's think it's impressive when it's like gunslinging yeah. and like you know the horse riding and stuff adds different layers to it. And sometimes, you know, they do some really cool, like, little shots with it and stuff like that. So I'll, I'll accept the gun action in that. I feel like... You know, I, do you a, get where I'm coming from? No, I understand. But I feel like for the whole gun thing, if it's done in a certain way where it's not just like, oh, shoot everything in sight. Yeah. If it's very, like, pinpointed and used in a certain way. Because even the scene where all they're all just shooting at what seems to be nothing... Yeah, I was just like, like okay, like you're just, yeah. we're just here, we're just, you're wasting. just wasting ammo. Yeah, like, you know, it's different because like, if you look at gun sequences, in um, and I'm only reason I'm talking about the guns because there wasn't really much hand to hand in this. There was no room yeah. for that. Um, I'm okay with flamethrower action sequences. Mm-hmm. Cool with it. Uh, but anyways, going back to like, is like James Gunn with with uh with Suicide Squad. Mm-hmm. How he utilized Peacemaker and and uh, Deadshot mm-hmm. with their guns is when I found it impressive. Yeah, it's how they utilize the mark marksmanship. Well, I saying. appreciate that's... good marksmanship. Don't get me wrong. It's all about how it's used and if it's not overdoing it. Yeah, and it's just like I'm just aiming at everything in sight. Blah right. blah 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 blah. But like, you give me a movie where you know, because like when Arnold was like doing, I was more impressed by the bear crawling. <laughs> than I was with the guns. I know a lot of people who are gun folks are gonna like disagree with me on that. Well, that's it. I'm just not as American as y'all. But like, I'm like an American, so. <laughs> but like, I was more impressed with the beer crawling and like the stealth movements mm-hmm. and like him setting up the traps and like the end of the film when he was like using like his surroundings and using whatever material he had. I was more impressed with that. Right. So uh, as far as the action is concerned, it, it gives me, they get a lot of points for that for me. Cause I like that for a personal level, but all the other like gun stuff and like even Mac I thought was a really interesting character because um, his stealth was amazing. Like he mm-hmm. he would sneak up on you and just be like, Shh. yeah. Like, I really thought I really like, thought they were gonna do more with him and then they just turned him crazy at the end. Like, yeah. Oh, come on, man. Like you know, Mac was a really really interesting character. I will give you that. Yeah. I was really intrigued with his character. I, I just think, that's my thing. I just wanted more from them. Billy, I really liked. I'd have loved to see Billy do some awesome stuff. Him, yeah, like, they just, him, like, tracking and all that was amazing. I feel like there was too many characters that, you know, some of them could have been gone completely. Two and, of them were forgettable, in my opinion. Yeah. Like, I don't even know how many there were, if I'm being honest. The one with the glasses was kind of like Echo. Or Tech, sorry. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Uh, there was the one that was... See, exactly. No, like, There's it was the General the White Guy number one. It was the one with the mustache, and then there was the other dude that just looked, he was, the other one that was kind of aggressive. Remember him? Like, yeah. when the girl was walking away, he was like, he got pulled up on her. Yeah. Him. <laughs> he didn't really that much of an impact to me either. But then if you look at a movie, like, I know I hate comparing it. I just want to, like, I'm just only bringing up the other films because I'm trying to draw comparisons as to why things that I would have liked to see in this movie would make me enjoy it more. Mm-hmm. It doesn't need to be a clone of these movies. It just would have been like their own take on a general thing. 
Because I, I get the whole point of, like, less is more. And I get the whole point. Because there's other movies that do less is more. Like, most recently, Black, the Black Phone. Mm-hmm. Which, in my opinion, was a fantastic, one of the best... One of, one of... On the list of one of the, the best films to come out this year so far. Like, there's two Ethan Hawke movies that are on my list of great films. Mm-hmm. The Northman and this. Yeah. So forget you keep forgetting he's in The Northman. Yeah. You've seen a lot of him. You've seen a lot of him this year. But, like, you know, you can do the less is more thing. We didn't really see too much from the black phone until towards the end of the film, but like, I'm fine with less is, uh, less is more. Yeah. Le- le- said almost said less is more. <laughs> I'm fine with less is more. Um, it just depends on how it's done and yeah. how you go about it. So I mean, uh, well, we can wrap this up because we just keep repeating the same things. We are, but yeah, we can wrap this up. <laughs> overall, it was okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, but um. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, make sure you also check out Matthew's channel. Link will be in the description below. And yeah, make sure you guys like, subscribe, like, what you see. Comment down below what your favorite part of the movie was. And make sure to hit the notification bell if you want to get notified whenever I post. And if you want to see the full reaction, make sure you guys check out our joint Patreon. Link will also be in the description below. But yeah, that's it for us. We'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.